is no longer are arrows blistering through the air at 600 feet per second, a thing of rumors, speculation that are shared on crossbow forums. Today, well today the marketplace now has an arrow slinger that's capable of those speeds and holding accuracy out to 100 yards. So what is this mythical beast? Well, this mythical beast is right here in front of us, and it is the M600 Airbow by Benjamin Airguns. Today's show is brought to you in part by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Air Force Air Guns, and Rapid Air Works. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. Well, thanks for joining us today, and I'd like to introduce the Benjamin M600 Airbow. Now, this is combined with a more robust arrow system called the M-Series Arrows, and the M-Series Arrows are the ones that have to be paired with this air gun because of all the power it is producing. And that's significant because the power that this thing is producing is more powerful than any crossbow on the market today. And that means that this is a significant hunting tool that's capable of easily taking any big game animal here in North America and probably elsewhere for that matter. Today I want to cover a couple of things that we have to hear about this new M600 and that is how it works, the accuracy, and finally why. Why in the world do you ever want one of these things? So first, let's take a look at how the Benjamin M600 works. Now the Airbow, if you're not familiar, is powered by compressed air. There's an air tank, an air cylinder if you would, right here, and it runs the length of the stock, and that is pumped up to 3,625 PSI. Now, some of you who might be more familiar with metric units, that's 250 bar. So that's a lot of pressure in this cylinder. And it can be filled a couple of different ways. You can fill it using a hand pump, you can fill it using a small portable compressor, or you can use your bulk tank refills, which a lot of you air gunners, if you're into air guns, already have. So very simple to fill up. And just like your typical air gun, you're gonna be able to mount your favorite optic on the Picatinny rail that's included. Look at that. And it also has an included base mount with 20 MOA compensation built in. Now the reason being is that these arrows do have considerable lop in them. So you'll notice that the 26 inch arrows that I have here, this new M series arrows are 365 grain. You can actually see them go up and down, typical to any other crossbow or regular uh, traditional bow type of firing mechanism and what you're gonna see. Also has a free floating barrel on here that the arrows slide on. Now what's unique about this system is you know, versus let's say your traditional crossbow or your traditional bow and arrow is that the bolt or these arrows that you see right here, well, they're not being pushed from behind. And when you push an arrow from behind, you get that force that moves an arrow kind of up and down, it compresses it. Instead, the arrow slides over the tube and the air comes out the front end of this right here and pulls the arrow off of this shooting barrel or straw, depending upon what you want to talk about, and it prevents that arrow from flexing, which is going to give you a truer flight and most likely greater accuracy, unless you're some sort of you know, crossbow aficionado that can shoot all kinds of different things. Also, something really nice about this is cocking an arrow is super, super simple. Right here in the back, you have this lever and you cock it back, and you pull it till it clicks, and now the air in the, is ready to be shot, and that's gonna be a hammer system that pushes the valve in and pushes the air right out of the tube when it's released. And that's gonna push these arrows at, get this, like I said earlier, 600 feet per second with over 300 foot-pounds of energy. Now the Airbow, yeah, it's a really cool system and I'm sure many of you watching are sure, surely still asking, why in the world would I want one of those? Yeah, it's cool, but why would I want one? We'll get to that, but for now, we're gonna take this down the range. I wanna show you some accuracy out of the Airbow. We're gonna take some five shot groups down there and keep in mind though, the manufacturer suggests that we refill after three shots. I'm gonna take that just a little bit further. 
Well, we are down here at the range with the Airbo M600 from Benjamin, and so far I'm absolutely loving it. It's a cool platform, something totally different, and for somebody who perhaps is looking for a different hunting implement to challenge themselves, what a cool option this really is. Now, uh, of course, you're going to want to check your state and local laws to make sure it is eligible to be used uh, here, but, um, you know, if it's an option, might as well take it. So what we got today is the new M-Series arrows. These things are built stronger than the original Airbow arrows because this thing is putting out some monster power. And what I mean by that is that it's blowing holes through my crossbow target at 50 yards when I have it aired all the way up. So what I'm going to do is I am going to shoot this at a reduced fill pressure and show you a five shot group. Still plenty powerful enough to do any hunting with or whatever you might want to do, but uh, show you that five shot group that we have here. And we're at what, 27, 2800 PSI. So a little bit less than you might normally have. This can be filled up to all the way to 3600 PSI. So let's go ahead and get that five shot group for you down there. Show you what I'm talking about. Just one. And I'm still kind of getting used to this platform. It is a little different than shooting your typical air gun, but still fun. I really do enjoy it. It's two. Feel it's on the tip. The tip of this arrow is actually loose, and that's going to mess up your accuracy. So you're going to want to make sure to check those frequently as you use this. Also, make sure you have plenty of backs up because this thing is crazy powerful. Three. Now remember, this is an unregulated arrow shooter. If you threw a regulator in this, you're going to get maybe a little tighter groups down there even. I mean, not that you need it. Uh, but you're also going to get more consistency also over the full range of the fill. So it's something you could do as an aftermarket uh, piece if you felt comfortable doing it or sending it off to somebody to, be, uh, to do that for you. But it's always an option. And really, this is pretty sweet. Ooh, nice little group started down there. Four shots. Let's go ahead and throw this last arrow on here. Make sure that tip is tight. Like I said, I had to get crank this down. I got tired of destroying the fletching on the arrows during my original testing. You know, I was getting things set up. So keep that in mind if you happen to get one. Plenty, plenty powerful enough. I think we just hit about 2,000. You notice a little bit of a drop, a little change of impact. And I think that has to do with the pressure. But really, really love the M600 Airbo. Go check it out. Tell me what you think of this down below. I know some of you traditional guys might not be interested, but wow, what a cool option. Now, all of that is pretty dang impressive. I can tell you personally that I would not be able to complete any of those shots. I mean, none of them with the traditional bow. I just don't have those skills. Why would you even want to consider using a tool like this instead of, you know, a traditional crossbow or something for hunting? Well, the air bow, there's a lot of different reasons. And the first one that's most important to me as a shooter, as an outdoorsman, is that it has safety built in. While traditional bow hunting is generally very safe, don't get me wrong, the air bow takes it kind of to another level. And well, unlike a crossbow or even a traditional bow, 
This thing is very, very easy to decock and you can even dry fire it if you want to. Now you saw me cock it earlier like this, you heard it click, so it's cocked. Take the safety off, I'm gonna hold this lever and pull the trigger and you feel it springs down. I've just decocked it and now the air bow is safe. Throw on the safety, super simple system. Like I mentioned earlier, dry firing is not gonna damage this like it would a crossbow or your traditional bow. So you're not gonna to wanna to dry fire that, but if you wanna test some things out, make sure it's all working. Dry firing this system isn't gonna hurt at all. And as talking about safety, is that when you can mount a scope on this system and shoot it like a more traditional firearm or a traditional air gun, well, you're going to increase your accuracy, increase those percentages of you hitting the target that you want and in a place that's going to give you a nice, clean, ethical kill. So using all this, great on the safety side of things. Now, a second reason is cocking effort. Now, with a traditional bow, you're gonna to have to pull back that string and you're gonna to have to hold your shot until you get everything all lined up. And that's gonna make you tired and less likely to hit your target. Also, if you're using a crossbow, which shoots similar to a firearm, you have to use cocking aids all the time. So that's one more thing that you're gonna to have to use that you can lose or misplace when you need it most. And finally, power. Man, with over 300 foot-pounds of energy, this thing, the airbow, well, it is powerful enough for any North American game and traditional bows or crossbows that produce not this kind of power, but maybe 500 feet per second worth of uh, speed on your arrows or projectiles. Well, those can be kind of difficult to cock and really difficult to hold back. And so that's going to be inaccessible to a lot of people, whether there's a handicapped youth or anyone else. This kind of opens up that bigger, larger game to a whole new group of people. Now keep in mind this is not legal to hunt with in a lot of states. You're going to want to check your local Department of Natural Resources, but overall guys, I think this M600 Airbow, you're going to begin seeing it taking over a lot of spots in a large number of hunters, air cabinets, or should I say shooting cabinets, as a unique, fun, and accurate hunting tool that's going to provide you some new challenges. Guys, if you have questions, put them down below. Let me know what you think of this platform, good, bad, or otherwise. I just want to hear what you got to say. And until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, your arrows fly straight, and we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.